Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to City Skyline. Today I'm gonna be explaining to you how to start off successfully in this game because I played for about 10 hours or so right now myself and in the first couple hours I basically wasted all of my time because quite honestly I just messed it up. So it's important to start off successfully and to get to the point where you can actually start earning some money. The very first thing we need to do is actually jump into a new game. Maybe you want to name your city if you really want to but I'd advise starting off on the Green Plains just because it has everything you need. If you really want to though you can pick any of them but I'm gonna go with green planes for this one. So the very first thing you want to do when the game loads up is pause the game. As you can see, if you have it on pause, it actually progresses over time and you're actually gonna waste some, some gold as well over time. You really don't want to do that. So since we are gonna have to plan this city up, and to actually, you know, we're gonna have to plan what we are going to build, we're gonna be better off just pausing the game. So the first thing you want to do is just pause. Then next up, what we need at the beginning of the game is only going to be electricity, water and roads. The only things we need are electricity, water and roads. So that's what we're going to be working on. Now the easiest way to achieve those things that I have found so far is to actually build close to water, at least at the beginning, so you don't have to waste that many resources. So the first thing I would like to do is actually make sure you have the roads connected together because you do need both of the roads um, and then to actually go straight towards the water. Now at the beginning, this is not going to look very pretty, but that's, you know, just going to come over time. We don't really have the resources to do so. Now, as you can see, we currently have a budget of 70,000 at the beginning. I would spend no more than like maybe, maybe, you know, 10 to 20,000 on roads. Nothing more than that. Now, I'm going to actually build this a little bit alongside the water right here. And I'm going to build a little, a little bit of a square sort of, or like a, a triangle sort of shape where we can start putting some of the shops uh, and the buildings and the, um, you know, the industry is going to go over here. Now, the one thing to keep in mind is that industry and whatnot pollutes the actual town. So you want to try and keep that a little bit away from the actual people that are living in your town. So, um, in this case, we're going to use this little area right here for houses and this area right here for industry. Now, later on, you might want to space that out a little bit more. But once again, we are on a budget, so we have, don't have to worry about it. Now, one important thing to note right off the get-go uh, get is actually press this little button in the top left and then click on water. And you can see the flow of the water. The direction of the water is basically coming from, you know, apparently this direction right here. It's going towards the left. Now, this is important for the next buildings that we need to place down. So, if you go right here... Um, to the actual water and sewage thing, uh, we need to place down two buildings. First off, we have this one right here, which is a water pumping station, and then we have the water drain pipe. Now, if you place those two in the wrong order, order you're obviously going to be pumping in dirty water, and the city is going to get polluted right from the get-go. Now, that's not really what we want. Uh, so, you always want to be putting the water pumping station upstream. In this case, I'm just going to point it down right around right here. And I'm going to be putting down uh, my drain pipe right over here. Um, you know, just a little bit away from it, so it won't be actually, you know, sucking in the wrong water. Next up, you want to connect those two together and actually make sure that your town has some water as well. So I'm just going to do it like this and also one this direction. So we, uh, you know, give the machines that we're going to build in a second some water as well. So that's the water out of the way. That's the only thing we really have to worry about. So once again, flow of the water is crucial right here. You want to make sure that the pumping station is, uh, you know, more upstream than the water drain pipe. Next up, the one thing we want to worry about as well is electricity. Now, there's multiple ways we can do this. I like starting off with the coal power plant because it's very powerful and very easy to put down. Um, obviously, if you really want to get tricky, you might want to try a wind turbine, but it's just going to be, you know, a little bit more costly over time. So I'm going to go start off with the coal power plant, which I'm going to put right around here or so. Don't want to have it too nearby either, uh, but right around there or so seems to be... Uh, Seems a reasonable position. And the next thing you want to do is actually connect these two places together so the blue areas touch. So as you can see, this is my coal power plant right here. Got to make sure that they are connected right there to the water. Uh, so the water station things actually are getting, you know, the electricity that they do need. So right now we got electricity out of the way. We got water out of the way. The next thing we need to do is actually put down the, um, the places where we want to have people living. Now, important to note with this is that... People are, like, if you, for example, zone in this zone right here, the people over there are not going to get electricity right away. You want to make sure that you're actually building relatively close to the actual power lines right now so that people will actually get uh, electricity. And later on, you can start zoning in this little area. So what I'm actually going to do um, is select this one right here and actually color it in a little bit. There we go. Um, because I want people to start living over here in this little place. Uh, we may as well just actually cover this entire thing. Uh, and that is basically all we need. 
for the beginning of the game. People will be able to start living there. They got electricity, they got water. Now, very last thing to do is to actually go to the economy tab right here and lower the electricity as well as the water one. Basically, the way you can find out if you're doing right or not is by simply clicking those buttons. So as you can see, well, right now we have uh, we don't have the game uh, pause or we still have the game pause, but normally it would say, you know, water availability is way higher than we actually need it to be. Uh, so you can basically just lower the budget right there in half. So right now we can actually unpause the game and see the very first people start moving into the town. Now, one important thing to note that a lot of people are not aware of when they're first starting out is these little colors at the bottom of the screen. As you may have noticed already, right now they are completely green, which means there is a high demand uh, for residential zones. And as you can see, people are starting to build here, by the way, and the first people are actually coming in. Cool. Um, but right now there's a high demand of residential zones. Now, very shortly, once there's actually people living here, we will also see the other bars going up. And I am basically not spending any of my money until I can see those bars going up. So right now we're going to actually speed it up a little bit. Um, right now you can see people starting to move in right here. We are currently losing money, which is alright. We don't worry too much about that. But as you can see, the demand... Um, for the actual, uh, for the residential zones is going down. Now, in the meantime, you can see a little tiny blue bar starting to go up right here. So what that means is that you want to be building commercial zones as well. So commercial zones are the blue zones right here that you can obviously have people spending their money at. Now, in this specific game, I'm just gonna paint it in right here so people can also go ahead and live over there. Um, and right now I'm gonna unpause the game once again. So people will now be able to spend their money. We got some residential zones coming in. Uh, we got some shops coming in as well. And right now the next thing we will need in a little bit is going to be industry as well, which I am, like I mentioned, going to be building over there. Once again, I'm not doing that yet uh, because, well, there's no use for it yet. And it looks like we actually need some more residential zones. So we're going to be coloring in this area here as well because, well, the demand is just very high for it. So I may as well just go ahead and, uh, and use it right there. Now... I think we have plenty of residential zones, but if it turns out we really do need more, I can obviously go ahead and extend the roads a little bit. Uh, but for the time being, this should be alright. As you can see, the amount of money we are losing is actually going down already, and that is the most important part. We want to be able to actually get to the point where we are living in the, uh, in the profitable area. Now here you can see that the industry demand is also going up. So I can actually make an industrial zone right here. Um, and I'm actually just going to make that right behind the power plant or so. You know, right around this. There we go, on either side of the road. Uh, just need to make sure as well that there is going to be water in those zones. Um, so yeah, we can extend this slightly. Uh, but obviously if they don't have water, they won't grow. But um, this is basically where things start off going right in our direction. So very shortly, we will be able to start making some money. Uh, we are losing very little right now. And as you can see, we only used about half of our budget um, to be able to get profitable. So this is basically all you need to do to get to the point where you can see this little blue or this little green icon pop up that will tell you that you are indeed making money. Now, very shortly, you will get more achievements. You will actually get to the point uh, where you can unlock more buildings and, you know, get loans and whatnot. Uh, one important tip that I would like to give you. It's right at the beginning of the game, you might want to up the taxes a little bit and then also actually make sure that you never take a loan until you absolutely have to because it's just going to mess things up. But anyways, this is going to be the very basics. Hopefully this game taught you a little bit about how to actually get profitable in City Skyline. And other than that, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you would like to see more content, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I do upload daily. And other than that, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.